Okay, another pointless battle! And, uh, yeah, no new enemies, oddly enough. Which is kind of odd if you ask me, but at the end of the previous battle, Ming finally learned level 2 composite magic, so uh, yay! New magic is available for us. Okay, let's see, what can I have Ming learn? Uh, alright, how about two accessories? That'll work. Will they still work for the time being? And also, there is a save point on the left. Kind of like a mirror of, uh, how Cook and Mac have, like, a little pillar with the save point and, uh, healing station on the right. But, hey. Okay, so there is no save point here, but there is a healing area. Just touch it, and... All HP and MP will be restored. I think I've mentioned that before in my last video, but whatever, who cares? I'm mentioning it now because I can, and I'm I love running like a freaking maniac on a one-way train to hell. <sighs> what am I to talk about now? I'm not exactly sure. And we're back to. Cook and back. Still no brown bear, and of course there's still a freaking blizzard which we have to push ourselves through. Which is stupid, but whatever. I don't know if holding the X button down actually allows you to move a little bit faster, but hey, I'm just doing it because I can. I feel like it does, but then again, it probably doesn't. Yeah, I don't think it does, so... Yeah, that's... that's pretty much it. Ooh, rubble. That doesn't look good. But, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Cook! What happened to Kaim and Sarah? <laughs> They're immortal. They can't die, right? That's what immortal means. Get up, Hook. We gotta keep moving. I can't. I can't move. Hook! Hook! Get up! What is it? I heard a voice. A voice? Whose? I don't know. Maybe the wind sounded like a voice. Well, if you say it was a voice, then it was. <sighs> so, now the kids are down and out for the freaking count. So, yeah, in other words, yeah, things have gone to shit. Here. <sighs> okay, uh, sorry for that brief moment of silence there. I was kind of drifting off into space. Not sure what I was thinking, but whatever. Uh, sometimes I just forget that I'm recording. And I feel like I'm playing on my own, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not doing that right now. I don't know why I was thinking I was, but whatever. Things happen. Let's just move on from that, save our progress, and let us head down. And to tell the truth, I think we're... Yeah, we are coming to the point where we're going to intercept where Mac and Cook are. So, yeah, let's just pray that uh, we'll be able to get to them in time, because, well, they look like they're dead. And that isn't good. Mac! Oh, come on, little 
buddy. Get up, Mac. Wake up. Wake up. Oh, it's me, Jansen. Wake up. Come on, wake up. Cook. Come on. Kid. Wake Come up, on. Cook. Come on. Let's do it. Liram. Lend me your strength. Give us your light for the lives of your children. Yes. yes. Good. Okay, good, good. Oh, thank goodness. You're all right. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you, Aunt me. Alright, let's go. What's going on? Well, we were able to get to Cook and Mac in time, so yay, thank God for that. So I'm now they automatically you. join our party and we begin another battle anew. I'm not sure why Jance is on the freaking front line. Idiot. Okay, reassign formation. Jance, get in the back now. Anyways, we are fighting a living ice, and it is a water type, so I guess, I guess the best thing I can do is use ground since, well, we've encountered opposites before, when I try to use fire, it doesn't work worth a damn. Uh, Cook, you use casting support on Ming, because she needs the support really, really badly, and Mac, you get ready to attack. The poor shield this is always going to make things a lot harder. Okay. <sighs> Not very much damage, I'll tell you that. Which really sucks, but whatever. Yay! Ground that actually worked! Anyways, the reason why I had uh, Jansen in the back instead of the front, well... He's a magic user, he's supposed to be in the back. Mac is going to be the one on the front lines who's going to be defending everyone. And of course he got his ass in it. But whatever. <laughs> the best thing you can do is just use ground up and just pound him to pound this living ice to the freaking ground. That is basically your strategy here. And I can't speak proper English, why? Okay, that hurt like hell. And Mac is down. Just great. Man, we really need to recover now. I wonder if Cook has done her supporting yet. Alright, Jansen, what can I have you do right now? Let's see. Angel's Plume on back. Uh, Ming, you use white magic has Sephora. And Cook is done, so thank God for that, so I'll have her use Zephyr. Because, well, healing is absolutely needed. Well, that hurt a lot. Okay, what am I to talk about now? I'm not exactly sure. I was thinking about having Jansen cast uh, heal, but Ming's about to cast Zephyra, which will heal us greatly, so <laughs> what's the point? And, uh, Cook? Yeah, you shield us on Mac, because he needs, he needs it really, really bad. That is if he doesn't go down first. Uh-oh. 
freeze part. Okay, that really, really hurt Cook. And everyone is fully healed. Thank freaking Lord. What's it going to talk about now? I'm not exactly sure. Well, in my previous playthrough, I did lose to this guy on the first run. And I guess it was because the, the attacks just were powerful attacks throughout the entire battle. Which really sucked, but whatever. <sighs> Things happen. No, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, that's ba this is basically my basic strategy. Just uh, have my magic user cast magic users cast ground uh, and just have back pummel this living ice to the ground. And I think it would be wise to use this spell whenever this thing uses uh, shield us. Oh shoot! Reflect! Reflect is an incredibly dangerous spell. The reason is because of its name. It reflects all magic-based spells. But thank god I don't have to freaking deal with that because Mac pretty much saved my ass once again. Thank you, Mac. You have not let me down yet. And let's keep it going that way. Spell counter. Very interesting. Hey, you all right? I'm okay. What happened to Kaim and Sarah? Weren't you together? Has something happened to them? They were trying to help us when the train derailed. It slammed into a huge wall of ice. There was an explosion. That's all we saw. That they might be dead. No way. They're immortals. Hey, you're joking, right? Even immortals can feel pain. <laughs> pain? If an explosion is powerful enough, it may inflict great pain on the spirit. This pain might be more damaging than the loss of a physical body. They're immortals. I know they gotta be alive. I mean, who ever heard of a dead immortal? Let's go look for them. Yeah, let's look for them. Aunt Ming, what about the captain? Oh, Seth? Right. Yeah, she's gotten into some trouble of her own. Okay, so, with that out of the way, we now have our final member who will actually be in our party for, well, maybe not necessarily the rest of the game, but this is our last party member. It is Zed. Zed, it, he can be a little awkward to use at first, but he is an incredible person, and I, I just love using Zed. Zed... Yeah, he's just magnificent. He is like Seth, but he actually uses a rifle. And 
Yeah, that's basically what is going on here. Yeah, Set is awesome. Enough said. He's the greatest... Well, maybe not the greatest party member, and can be a little difficult to use, but if you master his timing and just master him in general, well then, uh, you're gonna be really, really, you're gonna be really happy. I'll tell you that much. Let's see, pull on magic seal, blah, blah, blah. Also, said comes with a couple of really useful skills auto shield and auto barrier. Basically, the. Yeah. What it is, is self explanatory. You always have shield and you always have barrier. He also has the skill resourceful, which increases the effects of items used. So, let's say you use the healing medicine, which only heals 100 HP. If said uses it, it'll heal like maybe about 150, maybe even 200. I don't know. And also, he also has the skill Double Item, which allows him to equip two items at the same time. Which is actually really awesome. <sighs> he also has a couple of skills known as Magic Seal and Counter Seal. Magic Seal it nullifies the effects of, en of a spell cast by one enemy. And it only works once per battle. And Counter Seal nullifies the enemy's counterattack, and again, only works once per battle. I don't know why, but whatever. What am I to talk about now? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not gonna have Seth learn any of Seth's skills just yet, because she's still working on uh, one of the Toten skills. And also, a little bit further down the road, Sed will actually learn some really, really awesome skills. And also, since Sed is in our party, he can uh, fix certain things that are within the environment. So, let's take a listen here. What the heck? This thing's out of control! A magic engine out of control? Well, that explains all the magic energy in the area. If we put a stop to this engine, then Will that weaken the monsters? Who knows? I'd be reckoning it, it's worth a try. At least, here goes. And a wrench of super special awesomeness has fixed the freaking magic engine. So yay, monsters are now weaker. Yeah, if you actually go to certain locations, some pieces of uh, magic energy or magic engines may actually be messing up and are in need of repairs. All you have to do is just have Sed in your party and he'll fix them. Now, getting back to some skills that he will be learning, well, eventually if you level him up enough, he'll actually learn, I don't know, he'll learn double gold, which is self-explanatory. Sometimes you'll earn double the amount of gold that you earn per battle, and also he'll also learn double experience, I think, which again is self-explanatory. Earn double experience per, per battle, and that is basically how that works. But of course, we won't be learning that until a little bit later. Right now, we have a battle. And of course, I'm going to be keeping this in just to show off said. And we also have some new enemies. Yay! Let's see. Magic Tower, a large snail. Uh, that's not a snail. Whatever. Magic Tower B and an experiment number 28. I, I don't know why they have that thing. But who cares? And my mother is talking to someone. I hope you can't hear that, but... If he can, I do apologize. Now, I'm not exactly sure, but I did call the, cause the 
freaking uh, experiment number 28 to have a delay with the next spell casting. So, yay, thank God for that. And we shall destroy it this turn. And there we go. Critical hit for the win. Well, what did you expect? Actually, learned, I mean, earned quite a lot of SP in that battle, which is actually really awesome. Earned like 10 SP, which, again, really, really useful. Let's see, break hit. Bypass any defense, okay. Yeah, let's replace that place cut down with uh, break hit. Because break hit, bleh, break hit to me is more useful than, uh, the other one. Oh yeah. Heh. Yeah, here are the skills right here that I was talking about. Double gold and double loot, double SP. Okay. I was kind of wrong about double experience. You does know double gold and double SP. They double gold, double SP, they only work occasionally, so <laughs> don't count on them, you know, actually working for you all the time. But when it does, it does actually really, really help. And also, double loot, again, it's also self-explanatory. It obviously doubles the amount of loot that you obtain at the end of each battle. However, only it works occasionally, so... Yeah. Just thought I'd mention that. So, yeah, now I'll have Seth learn the uh, Auto Shield, because Auto Shield is very, very useful, and I love Auto Shield. You know what would be nice? If if I could actually learn Auto Haste. But first, cutscene. Oh, the goats and tanks open these holes. How about that, your worshipness? Got something to say now? Ah, oh, they can't wait to fight. Good for nothing but target practice. <sighs> Said, stop picking on him. It's not his fault he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Oh, so sorry, Your Graciousness. But that's the way I am. I get heartburn whenever I see someone in power. Well, for the moment, Tolton has no power. Really? Hmm. All right, knock it off. He's after the same enemy we are. The same enemy? Again, a pretty interesting, but kind of pointless conversation, but whatever. Let's move on, and let us proceed to the next area. And I've been recording for about uh, 55 minutes. Well, it's actually 54 and a half, like right about now, but who cares. <sighs> also, this area is kind of a bit like a maze, so get used to seeing this area quite a bit. We'll pretty much have to be going all over the place in order to complete certain puzzles and just, you know, just go all over the place. Okay, I am back. Another pointless battle for the freaking win. Again, man, I freaking love said like a freaking bad man. I just feel like said really is an underutilized party member, but then again, I don't know for sure. I haven't seen other, any other Let's Play of this game. It's a fight you want, you got it. Okay, another pointless freaking battle. Yay. Pointless battles are awesome. Yeah, and I mean that so sarcastically. Also, when you're traversing through this part, you're will be moving at this slow-ass pace. 
I, I guess it's because of the shallow water level. I mean, that is how you would normally move in real life when you're, like, traversing through water, but seriously, I would like it if, you know, you could move just a little bit faster. Like, maybe not as fast as Sonic the Hedgehog, but still, god damn, that's annoying. Also, speaking of Sonic the Hedgehog, some people have requested that I would do, like, a Let's Play of Sonic Generations when it's, like, released. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen when I first get the game. I... And my mother is arguing again with someone I don't know, and to tell the truth, I don't care. Because that is not my place, and that is not my business to get involved within my mother's arguments, or just figure out who the hell she's arguing with. I'll probably ask her later, but who knows for sure. And to tell the truth, who cares? What am I to say now? I am not so sure. Yeah, this, this part is just a big circle. I don't know why I'm going this way, but I guess I am because I thought there was treasure in here, but there isn't. In order to be able to move forward, we, would, we do have to not only navigate through a certain part of this maze, we just we also have to solve certain puzzles too in order to actually continue. Let's see, how long have I been recording? An hour! I've been recording for an hour now, so hey, <laughs> yay! And I'm back at the very beginning. So, again, that loop was kind of pointless, but whatever. I wanted treasure. The treasures do end up giving me a good amount of uh, spoils. If you don't let me, just uh, new items available for ring assembly. Yay! More ring assembly. Assembly required. <sighs> also, I'm recording this like about the. Uh, Two days later, after I've recorded the uh, previous episode of uh, Lost, Lost Odyssey, and uh, yeah, that's basically what's going on here. Also, on the other side of this waterfall, there is a save point where we can go to to heal up, and there's also a guy who we can buy items from. Yay! Finally, I can do some shopping after we go around here and figure out where the hell we're supposed to go.